Hello friends and family and good evening from 192 in Kissimmee. Today's travels bring us here to the visitors flea market. We're going to check out all the different booths of vendors. There are lots of assorted Disney pins here, Disney um, different like things like backpacks, clothing, and also a huge assortment of Funko Pops. You never know what you're going to find over here. And then we're going to head a little bit further down the street to the Hope Thrift Store. They normally have a great selection of different like Disney Park Resort used furniture, Disney pins. You never know what you're going to find over there. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Here's the signage for the visitors flea market and world food trucks. There's a great assortment of different like food trucks from different like uh, vendors all around the world. Like they have some Mexican food right there, some burgers, lots of different things you can come out and check. And way off over here in the back section, if you do continue down this way, they have even more food trucks. There's probably 50 or 60 of them. There are that many. And the great thing about being over here on 192, especially at the Visitor's Flea Market, you do have Old Town Kissimmee right across the street. Like you can see the slingshot just went up, the Ferris wheel, lots of different rides, attractions, and restaurants. But let's head inside the Visitor's Flea Market. This again, only a couple minutes from Walt Disney World. Let's head inside and see what we can find. I always like to check out the windows over here like they have lots of different posters like from Naruto and some lenticular posters before you even go inside with like Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, the princesses, Toy Story, a little bit of everything. So as soon as you come inside is one of my favorite booths. They have some of the most coolest Funko Pops that I've seen here in Central Florida. Skeletor with Snake Mountain, $35. Lots of different masters of the universe. I love how they do have everything like all sectioned off by like characters. Here is the Jungle Cruise excursions departing daily from over at Disney's Magic Kingdom. I do want to check though and see what Disney Funko Pops we can find. Here's the Maleficent with Engine. This one's a Funko Pop exclusive. Cool to see here at the flea market. And they have the Hall of Armor, Iron Man. But this whole booth is just loaded with assorted action figures, Funko Pops, you name it. Even some of your old school like the Power of the Forest Star Wars figures. You'll find some really cool Funkos though, like Star Wars Rogue One. They have uh, Saw Gerrera. This is actually a 2017 Funko convention exclusive. Lots of different characters from the various Star Wars franchise. Like they'll have some of your um, only a Target exclusive Funkos. Over here is uh, Finn. They have DJ and also the Frog Lady. But look at this. They have some popcorn buckets from over in the Disney parks. Just kind of hanging out here. Just hanging off the rafters. The Millennium Falcon. Of course, being so close to Walt Disney World, they have a great selection of Disney-themed Funkos. Like, they have Pumbaa from The Lion King. These are all different prices. Like, that one specifically is $12. They have Iago from Aladdin, $25. But here's some different Funkos that I haven't really seen before from Disney. It's a small world. Lots of different ones. They have England, Japan, United States. They vary in price range from $12 to $15. Let's see what else we got doing, though. How about some of these old Olaf Presents ones. This one is an Amazon exclusive. Olaf as Simba. They have Olaf as the genie from Aladdin. Even as Princess Ariel. Like these are really unique. Some uh, young Anna from Frozen 2. But they even have like some different plushies. Prisoner of Love with Winnie the Pooh there. And some really old like different like figurines. Look at this one here. The Hollywood Tower Hotel with Mickey Mouse. He kind of jumps out the top of the Hollywood Tower. They have some little figurines of Mickey, Winnie the Pooh, even Mr. Smee. 
some loose pins here behind the uh, glass cases. These are actually like Disney Times ones. So these are like old comic book strips. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. Over here is a Walt Disney World one that opens up the official autograph book with all of the main Disney characters. But they have so many assorted Disney pins. Here's a Walt Disney World hat ears one. Like a bedazzled Cinderella castle. Even some of your Disney Pride collection pins. Here's one of the coolest Funkos that I've seen though. Like look at this, you have Donald Duck holding a whole bunch of Christmas lights. That's $20 from the holiday collection. Underneath there is the Mickey Mouse, the true original 90 years. So crazy, 90 years. Here's a Funko Pop exclusive of Pocahontas. And also from the Walt Disney archives is a totally mini one. Look at her there with the paintbrush, she has her bow. And right over here is a huge set with uh, Mickey and friends. You get Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, Donald, Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, Chip and Dale. That's another Funko exclusive. A bunch of different random pins. These are the Disney's Animators Collection. Underneath there are a couple different Stitch offerings. Like this is like an automated Stitch, like a robot. Here he has some like goo he's picking out of his nose. Stitch is crying. Lots of different Disney Princess pins. They have uh, Mulan. Over here is Little Mermaid. And also uh, Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Even more loose pins that are perfect for Disney pin trading. These ones don't have the little rubberized backing, but this one here is Magical Tinkerbell. Let's see what other characters we can find. They have Magical uh, Pluto, a couple different ones with the original Florida Orange Bird, Mickey Mouse holding a banner. They have White, uh, let's see here, Mike Wazowski, Peter Pan, Cruella DeVille, so many different characters, even some bunch of different Star Wars characters, Sheriff Woody. And look at this one with the notebooks and pencils. So it looks like the characters are drawn on there. Like you have Little Mermaid, Simba. Over here is uh, Tom Mater. And then of course they have Nemo. This door like definitely goes on forever though. Like my last visit, I didn't even come back to this back section. So I do want to take a little peek and see what we can find. Here's a uh, Harry Potter poster from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Wow, there are so many Funko Pops though. Like you don't get to see a lot of this like here in the Central Florida area by the Disney parks. They have some uh, Marvel versus Capcom like double Funko Pop figurine sets. Here's also some of those lenticular posters like we saw from the outside. They have Lilo and Stitch the series. So you do move and the uh, characters do move. Over here from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, they have one with Jack and Sally. But it looks like they do have them in like a bunch of different shapes and sizes. Like these are some smaller ones of Stitch. These are all $8 a piece. A really fun Funko the Pop. Look at this one here though. This is the actual mystery machine with Bugs Bunny. In this section here, you could even purchase some really old like Pez dispensers. They have a R2-D2 from Star Wars. Looks like a C-3PO, Taz. Let's see what we got going on over here. Okay, so lots of different Star Wars ones. They got some Ewoks even and assorted Disney princesses. Even some like little collectible vinyl figurines. Look at, uh, let's see, Donald Duck there. They do have uh, Sheriff Woody. And literally just one store over is a whole assortment of like t-shirts you would purchase over at Universal Studios Florida. Ten dollars each or three for twenty-five dollars. These are like your thing one and thing two. I like how they say like Orlando, Florida on the bottom. You have sis one, brother one, a bunch of different sizes in these. They have lots of different versions though like number one dad, they have number one aunt, up here is number one grandpa. Let's see what's over here though. Okay so this is also part of that deal. Let's see what we got doing here. This is what awesome looks like and then it says grandpa with the uh, fingers pointing there. And they do have a pair, I should say a uh, shirt here that says Orlando, Florida with Minnie Mouse's bow. It says beauty right up ahead. Even a couple like Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This one here says he's a catch with the golden snitch. There's even a great assortment of different Disney plushies. Here's a ginormous one, 90 magical years, Mickey Mouse, the true original. So this over here is a good size uh, sorcerer Mickey one. Right over here, a bunch of like smaller size plushies. They do have one similar at like Walmarts and Target stores. They have Donald Duck, uh, Minnie Mouse, all the way over here in this section is Goofy. These are $11.99 for the smaller ones. They have Pluto, and then of course Daisy Duck but they do have all of these in like a much larger size, like two different versions of Minnie and a really big Mickey Mouse plushie. 
They have so many different t-shirts though. You're not gonna find these in the parks or resorts. This one here says Together Forever. So they do actually make these here with some different like Disney drinks with some hat ears. This one is simply classy. You have Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie. It does say Orlando, Florida at the bottom. And how about how creative this one is? It says Starbucks and then you have a huge graphic of Stitch. Looks like he has his a Starbucks drink. That one is really neat. And here is like a, a storm trooper his mask though is all like palm fronds $15.99 let's check out some of the assorted coffee mugs that they also have so this one here has all of the main Disney characters Mickey and Minnie look really happy but look at Goofy there and Donald Duck and Pluto they look quite perturbed that one is $10 one right next door does come with a soup spoon I'm 99.99% sure I'm a princess it comes with the little crown there that one is $11.99. And here's two different versions of mugs that I haven't seen before. These actually have a really shiny gold handle. I do like the uh, little design here at the bottom with Mickey and Minnie. Those are $11. And then right underneath there, your classic like 3D effect coffee mugs. A couple different versions though. These are $10 a piece. They have Mickey, Minnie, and also Goofy and Donald. Also a good little selection of assorted like Marvel coffee mugs. This is like the whole bottom half of uh, Captain America. These are only $10 a piece. They have Captain America. Right next door is your Spider-Man version. But even underneath there, like this also reminds me of like little Funko Pop versions of the characters. They have Iron Man and Captain America. Let's check out some of the hoodies and whatnot that they have. This one says just do it later on the bottom section with Stitch. So they're kind of playing off the Nike swoosh logo. But they probably make these right on hand right here at the flea market. Over here is yet another version of Stitch. This is actually a really heavy hoodie. You got a nice big graphic on the front. On the back wall section, though, perfect for the upcoming warmer weather. They do have a great assortment of different Disney beach towels. It says super soft. Here's the design with Mickey Mouse. These are definitely super soft and oversized. $17.99 a piece. Right over here is a Minnie Mouse version. You got some glasses, some hearts, a little beach ball, and then the Florida sunshine. But Stitch is getting so much merchandise, like literally everywhere, even on Walt Disney World property here at the Flea markets this is super soft as well with the um, nice tie-dye pattern with stitch then you have one here where he has a huge amount of ice cream on his cone there's even a good size assortment here of like adult size backpacks. This one over here is Disney 100 with a bunch of assorted princesses, Tinkerbell, Mickey Mouse. It says Disney 100 all over it though. $18 is a really good price for that. Over here is a version with Mickey and Minnie. Like you have some bows, some M's. This is a big zipper compartment on the front though. $18 for that. They also have a bunch of like assorted anime characters. They have Monkey D. Luffy. Now, lots of them so many different backpacks they even have you covered with your neck pillow so if you are doing any traveling back home these actually are embroidered florida on them for $14.99 even some of your classic like florida take homes you can never go wrong with the refrigerator magnet again they're playing off thing one and thing two like they have number one grandpa uh princess one these are only a dollar 99 a piece you have florida wife with minnie mouse's bow Florida sister. This is a great deal for only two dollars. Right next door are some of your uh, flip-flops. You got some ones with uh, dolphins and whales, some waves and palm trees. These are three dollars and ninety-nine cents. And here's one with a bunch of dolphins and fish that do say Florida. Some more of your traditional like Florida take-homes. They do have a bunch of alligator heads. This one here is absolutely massive. Three hundred and fifty dollars for that. But they do have like some smaller size ones. These are only $22, but you'll find some really random things here at the, uh, at the flea market. Some bigger heads down there, but how about this ginormous like stuffed alligator head that they do have? Whole body, I should say. He's wearing a cowboy hat. One of the photo ops at the visitor's flea market. 
And then right across the way are even more assorted Disney pins. This one here is Disney Parks. Some really good prices on pins here. You have Little Mermaid in front of Cinderella Castle, Little Mermaid and Flounder. But how about these ones down here with the uh, Disney princesses inside of guitars? Like these are really interesting. You have uh, Baloo inside of guitar. And here is 1934 Donald Duck. But right underneath there, like they also have some of your Splash Mountain pins. Let's see what else we can find down here in this section. Okay, Happy Hanukkah they have with Mickey Mouse. And also celebrating 90 years with Minnie Mouse. Even some fun little starting pin sets. I think you get about a good dozen here. A bunch of different minis making different facial expressions. Like you have a Minnie Mouse lock. You have one where she's making a kissy face, some sunglasses, a facsimile signature. And how about this one with uh, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and then Pluto. I love that. This is really, really cool. But they also have some uh, different Splash Mountain pins down here in the bottom section. You have Quack with Donald Duck. Even some Pinocchio pins. A couple pins here of Stitch as well that I've never seen before. These are Disney Soda Fountain pins. Let's see, Disney Soda Fountain and Studio Store Hollywood. So these are some like limited edition pins. You have Stitch inside of a kite. But how about this? You have Stitch as Yoda from Star Wars. This is really, really neat. May the force be with you with Stitch. And also one here with Stitch that says stay weird. But how about this? You have Stitch as Elvis Presley playing the guitar. Also a good selection of different coin banks. These aren't all Disney related, but they do have a good selection of Disney related ones. These are $26 a piece. They have Cinderella. Underneath there is, uh, let's see here, we have Snow White, Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. She's actually holding the genie's lamp. We have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Over here is Loki, probably one of my favorite ones. The attention to detail is really good on him. With his huge horn hat, he has his a staff in his hand and they also have Groot right next door but you do have to look everywhere because lots and lots of assorted anime characters but way down here on the bottom section they have uh, Grogu, the Cheshire Cat and also Hedwig from Harry Potter. And how fun are these glitter cups? Like these are loaded with glitter. You got almost like some Spaceship Earth hat ears on top. They say Florida on the bottom. These are $15 a piece, but they do come with the straw. They have those in a bunch of different colors. Definitely super duper sparkly. Here's some Hello Kitty plushies. Like they have your classic one. It's embroidered Hello Kitty on the little Tootsie of each of them. And then right over here is an actual Walt Disney World 50th anniversary plastic cup. This one is actually Disney Park with the Gold Cinderella Castle. It does come with a straw. These are $12.99 from $25. As you can tell though, like the flea market here is very expansive. I do want to show a couple of the things at this booth. They have some Hello Kitty little plushy uh, backpacks. They have some characters from Super Mario. Some really good sized plushies. But here's like some off-brand um, lounge flies. This one has like the ears, lots of different butterflies. That is $25. Some smaller size backpacks here that are loaded with sequins. These are actually only $17.99. Right up ahead is uh, one with all of the Disney princesses. And here's a couple other bags over here. These are the uh, simulated leather ones. A bunch of uh, different Minnie Mouse versions. I like the zipper pull though with the princess. A faux leather, those are $18.99. Here's a really good size one with Minnie Mouse. That one's $40. But even Stitch is getting some backpacks here as well with all of the Hawaiian flowers. And here's one with like Mickey, Goofy, Pluto. It has all of their facsimile signatures. The same booth though has a great selection of like your classic Florida take home. If you're looking for some shirts that just say like Orlando, Florida, these are long sleeve with the hood. You have a little sea turtle that says Orlando, Florida, a really soft thin material. Here's a tie dye pattern, Orlando, Florida, stay salty. This is incredible though. Like these are long sleeve, super thin. Like you can take these down to the pool or to the beach. Lots and lots of different like tie dye designs. This one over here says Orlando, Florida. 
Florida, a 75 Cali, a wild, let's see here, life, vintage American beach patrol with a surfboard. And here's like a long sleeve shirt that's even embroidered Florida, the sunshine state. These are only $18.99. That was such a fun visit to the Visitor's Flea Market. A visit to the Visitor's Flea Market here on Highway 192 in Kissimmee. They didn't disappoint once again. Lots of like homemade different t-shirts, hats, they have plushies, some really cool coin banks. The Funko Pops, they have a huge assortment. You could probably spend an hour or two just looking at them if you're a huge fan of Funko Pops. A really good assortment of different pins. That being said, let's head on down the street a little bit to the Hope Thrift Store on Highway 192 in Kissimmee where they'll have lots of different Disney Resort used furniture and also a good selection of pins. Okay, so we just made our way over here to the uh, Hope Thrift Store from the Visitor's Flea Market. It is only about a two or three minute drive down Highway 192 in Kissimmee, but you'll find lots of really fun, like resort use furniture here at the Hope Thrift Store. They have a good selection of different pins and Disney resort use furniture. So it is like doing some Disney treasure hunting. Let's head inside and see what we can find. Definitely a very, very unassuming building. You can see like the uh, vinyl signage, Hope Thrift Store, open seven days a week, but it's literally just right over here. One of my last visits, they had some like Disney resort use like housekeeping cards, like those big plastic ones that they use to put like the uh, shampoos and all of your blankets and whatnot. So let's see what they have inside. So as soon as you come inside, there's lots of different rows of assorted things, like different types of furniture, mattresses, all sorts of things. But look at this, there is a whole slew of different like power Swiffer mobs. I kind of wonder where these were used. Definitely very, very interesting. But lots of uh, furniture and whatnot, as you can see. Of course, we're on the lookout here from Disney, our uh, resort use items. Always on the lookout here. You never know what you're going to find at the Hope Thrift Store. So right off the bat is some framed artwork. This is from Disney's All-Star Resort. It says game set match with Minnie Mouse's facsimile signature. She's doing some tennis. These are only $10 a piece. It looks like they do have a couple different Minnie Mouse versions. And then over here is a larger size coffee table. You can definitely tell these were used at the different Disney resorts. These are only $25. These are solid wood though. Somebody drop a comment though in the comment section if you do know exactly which uh, resort that these were used in. Look at the uh, sides here, how they're painted gold. Like those are really nice. Let's see what else we got doing. Normally there's like a good selection of like Disney resort used chairs. And here's some right here with the uh, Christmas tree kind of design inside there. It does have the padding, which is really thick. Those are $25 a piece. And then right over here from Disney's Contemporary Resort is yet another uh, chair. These probably would have been like office chairs or used at the uh, restaurants there at the Contemporary. But they have like the solid wood backing with the metal hardware. My last visit here over in this section, they had like a lot of the Disney Resort used um, room little lock boxes there to put your items in. I'm not seeing any of those over here in this section at the moment, but I did want to point out these nightstands that they do have. You can see how these were definitely used in a resort, how it has the attachment there on the backside to pull the cords up, but these are actually only $10 a piece for the nightstands, but they do have a good assortment of them. Some non-Disney related items that I do want to show you. All of the books here are only a dollar a piece. Like they have bookshelves upon bookshelves of assorted books from my core to romance. A little bit of everything. Like you can't go wrong. Only a dollar. Even for hardcover books. Only a dollar a piece for them. But right over here is yet another Disney Resort used item. This one here is a good size round table with all the Mickeys completely surrounding. They actually have this over at the Lakeland Antique Mall. It has that solid heavy uh, metal base with the legs as well really neat to find this in a thrift store and then right over here it says they do have a couple different disney chairs this one is super duper plush a lot of this is actually a lot cheaper than my last visit you can see like how the different designs there with the hardware this is a really good condition only 30 dollars for that and then right over here is yet another disney chair this one is 40 dollars but look at this it is seriously like solid wood and the cushion are in really good condition. 
when you're walking down these aisles though you kind of just have to know like sometimes they'll put like Disney resort use chair and whatnot but other times you kind of have to know like the sleeper sofas because they will get a lot of different Disney resort used uh, sleeper sofas here that's the great thing about coming here to the Hope Thrift Store though. Like this is about 10, 15 minutes from Walt Disney World property and they always get new items. So as the Disney resorts are refurbishing and whatnot, they'll get some of the items here. Like it's crazy to do Disney treasure hunting in a thrift store. Even a good selection of different DVDs here. They like Sex in the City, The uh, Company Men, The Seeker, My One and Only. Lots of different ones. Employee of the Month, that was a really good movie. Man of the House, Gossip Girl. But this whole section is completely loaded with assorted uh, DVDs. Like I said, they have something for everybody here. Just Add Water. They have Benji. That was a really cute movie. The Sentinel. Welcome to Mooseport. You do always have to look everywhere at the Hope Thrift Store. There's lots of electronics and different things. My last visit though, they had some Disney Resort Use telephones and it does look like they also have some today. They do have a couple left. This one here is from Disney's, uh, let's see here, All-Star Sports Resort, room number 6331. How cool is that? That is only $19.99 for like a piece of Disney history. And then right over here is yet another one. So this one is also from Disney's All-Star Sports. So you do have to look everywhere and see exactly where they have things. Everything is kind of just like all over the place. I always like to come up here to the front section. Normally we'll find a good amount of like different Disney um, collectibles and pins. They do have a good assortment of just about everything up front. And look at this, they have like some water shoes. These are only $3.99 a piece. Let's see what we got doing up front here though. So they do have some Walt Disney World uh, Mickey hat ears. Let's see, they don't have the price on them, but that's a cool little find. Over here is a, a hardcover 102 Dalmatians book. Okay, so we're skipping 101 and going right to 102. They have some three and a half inch by five inch photo frames. This one is a heavy metal with Mickey Mouse kind of like carved out. That is cool. Over here they have Meme the Game. Look at that though, with Sheriff Woody. They have uh, Tigger, Pinocchio. That's only $6 and it's brand new. And then over here is a really good size snow globe. You have like Mickey, Donald, Goofy, uh, Minnie Mouse there. Look at all the different characters in the base. Even Dumbo's on top, that's $60. Lots of different ears down here as well. Let's see what we got doing. So this one here is loaded with sequins. You have Scar from Lion King. And yet another pair I do want to check out. So they have a couple different pairs of like sequence ears. And how about this? Way back in 2003, they do have a photo frame for a five by seven photo. Of course, being at a thrift store, not everything's going to be in perfect condition. They do have kind of like a broken down Cinderella snow globe. This one doesn't have the price on it, but it still has like the original water and it still works. Right over here is the game of operation with Grogu, Star Wars Mandalorian. That one is $3.99. And then right behind there, they have the essential collection of Star Wars, five awesome sound effects for $25. Right behind that section though is a good little section of different like figurines. It looks like these were probably in like Happy Meals from Marvel, but they have a bunch of different characters here that you can purchase at the Hope Thrift Store. And look at this big hot dog. How cool is this thing? Oh my word, that is really neat. Like I was saying up front, they do have a good selection of assorted Disney Park pins. This one here, you have Ariel the Little Mermaid with her facsimile signature. This one here is also Ariel. It says, I'm really a mermaid. But they have like Princess Jasmine. Even some like holiday collection ones. That's really cool to see here. Underneath there, we have Screamin' California with Donald Duck. I should say with a Goofy. That one is really neat. A couple different offerings here with Belle from Beauty and the Beast. This one is like bedazzled with a bunch of charms. You do have Belle reading the book in front of the castle. And the same difference here, like the one Belle one that's bedazzled, they do also have a Cinderella one. But here's some cool like Wizarding World of Harry Potter, like Universal Studios pins. These don't have prices, but they have Hufflepuff. They have like the Hogwarts house crest with all four houses, Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. 
And how about these really neat Disney park pins? So these are actually like cast member name badges, but there's actually the Disney characters. They have Goofy, right over here is Pinocchio. It's nice to see though, like how they spell their name and like sign their signatures. They do have Tigger, look at that, with a bunch of R's at the end. And it looks like they do have uh, Dale, I should say Chip with no Dale. So we have Chip and no Dale. They have the genie from Aladdin, which is really cool to see. But this one here is like a Disney Park statue of Minnie Mouse. That's neat. That is really cool. They have like a bedazzled 20th anniversary one with Donald Duck. And then right over here is Minnie Mouse. They actually have quite a bit of pins here that I haven't seen before. So they do have like Chip and Dale with like a fireman's hat, a chef's hat. This one here is uh, Stitch. Look at the baseball cap he's wearing. They have a Donald Duck version. Let's see what else we can find. Mickey Mouse with like his signature there. They have Goofy. And look at the uh, Beast. He looks incredible. Like that is a really neat pin. A lot of these pins though, like you're not going to find in the Disney parks. They have Dopey. And here's a really fun one up to no good with Stitch. On the bottom section though, like this is actually like some Florida license plates. It says I heart pins. You have Goofy, Horizons, and Pixie. Some really nifty ones over in this section. They actually all have Cinderella Castle with different characters. They all say Walt Disney World at the bottom, but they have Minnie Mouse, they have Donald Duck and Mickey. Right over here though, how about this from Star Wars? They have a Mickey Mouse with a robe and he's holding a lightsaber. Some of my favorite pins though are always the ones with Walt Disney himself. These are authentic original Disney park pins. You have a bunch of different like pictures of Walt Disney. Like how about that with Mickey Mouse, a bunch of different offerings though with Walt himself. Really need to find those here at the thrift store. Over here is a, a Sorcerer Mickey pin with a ginormous hat. They have Tinkerbell and then a black and white version with uh, Mickey and Minnie. And then over here are some of your Disney Park Splash Mountain pins. This one says I conquered Splash Mountain. Everything is satisfaction with the Splash Mountain logo. But how about this like right over here. Everything is satisfactual. They do have more of those. You have the different characters literally on the ride vehicle itself for Splash Mountain. That is an awesome find. You have Disney Collector with Mickey Mouse. So many different ones. Like they have Mickey with the uh, Splash Mountain logo right underneath. Even some Mr. Toad pins that they have here. And they do have a good assortment of different Disney pin trading pins. These are all $2 each, three for $5 or 50 plus, only a dollar a piece. They have a great selection here on the table from the Incredibles. Let's see what else we can find here. They have like a bride version of Mickey, red, white, and Mickey. Definitely perfect for like 4th of July. Let's see, we got some pumpkins, all sorts of different things. Pinocchio, Daisy Duck, here is Donald Duck with a heart. Like that is really adorable. I love this one here with the like Donald hat ears. Really neat though, I love his facial expression he's making. And speaking of facial expressions, check out Mickey Mouse. He looks really angry on that one. A bunch of different versions though, especially like of Stitch. They have uh, Goofy, a ton of different ones. Cinderella, also a good little selection here of Grogu pins. And holy moly, how about this? They have a lot of your Walt Disney World 2023 run Disney merchandise. Here is a tank top 26.2 miles with uh, Mickey and Minnie run Disney with all of the beacons of magic. So these are all brand new with the original Disney park tags. It is nuts to find this here at the thrift store. Here is your 2023 half marathon 13.1 miles with Donald, Cinderella Castle. This is like your Under Armour no sweat material. Like this is stuff that you actually get in the Disney parks and for Run Disney. You have I Did It 39.3 miles, Goofy's Race and a Half. Oh, that's cool challenge with Goofy. He has the medallion. This is nuts to find all this here. Here's the 2023 5K version with the uh, retro lettering. The backside says 5K finisher 2023 with Pluto. Then there's a whole selection of like uh, purple shirts. This one is the 10K I did it. I do want to show you the backside. Like look at Chip and Dale. It says 10K finisher. 
a few other brand new Run Disney t-shirts that they do have in this section. Run Soulmates, you have Run Disney from Disney Pixar Soul. These were originally $35 in the theme park. Like it doesn't have the price here like on the racks, but I'm assuming they're probably very, very reasonable. Here's a long sleeve shirt, 2022 half marathon weekend. This is wine and dine for Run Disney. It starts with a 5K, 13.1 at the 19.3 with Jeannie. I had such a fun time today hanging out here on Highway 192 in Kissimmee over at the Visitor's Flea Market. A great selection of Funko Pops, Splash Mountain pins, and all different types of Disney clothing and accessories. But it really surprised me right behind us here at the Hope Thrift Store with all of your Run Disney brand new merchandise, Disney Resort used furniture, even a very good selection of different Disney pins from Splash Mountain, Mickey, Walt Disney World, a little bit of everything. But if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll add a link to that in the description box. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.